the big buzz here is that I know it's the kiss. It's the I see your notes. Kiss, you see my notes. <laughs> Lesbian kiss, right there. Lesbian <laughs> kiss, right there, right there. Hi everyone, I'm Melissa. Welcome back to Out There. Don't change the channel because we have a ticket giveaway for the movie The World Unseen. Have you eaten? Why don't you join me? Uh, now this film is about two women who meet and fall in love in oppressive South Africa during apartheid. It stars the beautiful and talented Lisa Ray. And not only do we have tickets to The World Unseen, but also to her next movie, I Can't Think Straight. We also have autographed books and posters to give away, plus out there prize packs. All you have to do is send us an email at contest at outthertv.net for your chance to win. Again, the address is contest at outthertv.net for your chance to win. Now we cut up with one of the stars of the movie, Lisa Ray. Check it out. You were the first person to smile at me at the cafe in eight days. I counted. You've had this incredible journey in this business and you know you started off as a model mm -hmm. and and turned that into an extremely successful feature film career. I, I love what I do. I love performing. It's so important to me and I can get extra sort of protective mm -hmm. and sincere and earnest about it. It was really important for me to disconnect myself from that from a very different phase in my life. Mm -hmm. Again, when I was a model and you because know very successful that. at it, but because you know not even because of anyone else's preconceptions, mm -hmm. but you for know I, I had to yeah, yeah exactly I had to really focus my energy on what I love mm -hmm. doing. We need to work hard. That's all. Miriam is um, on the page a tough character because she's very internal um, and there's a lot going on but it's not necessarily really overtly expressed. So I worked a lot with my director who's absolutely fantastic, Shamim. She wrote the novel, The World Unseen, which was very critically acclaimed and well received and then adapted the screenplay and then finally ended up directing the film. Your place is here with me. Your cast members talk about how you are an actor's director. How do you find that intuitive ability to yeah. engage an actor to make them want to give you a hundred times more? You know, you just have to adapt to different actors because they all have different methods. And if you, uh, if you can make them feel that you really understand what they're trying to do and create an environment where they can do it, they're going to be happy. And that's the main thing. But I have to please a person who... God rest her soul, is not even able to see me. It doesn't matter how beautiful your setting is or any of that stuff. If you don't get great performances, then your movie is dead. It sounds silly when you put it like that. It is silly, but no one else seems to think so. Does it matter what people think? This movie has a lesbian theme, and your next one does as well. Yes, sorry about that. <laughs> no. Is there gonna be another hot sexy, steamy scene? In uh, yes, there's a lot more in the second movie. Oh my goodness, you're already selling it. Bonafide scenes in that movie. <laughs> um, yes, but that's my quota then, so then I'm gonna move on. Contrast. To fade a few. It's considered the sexiest kiss on screen. Jesus. <laughs> so tell me about that, huh? <laughs> Well, you know, I wish I had something even more exciting to report <laughs> or salacious. But, you know, like when you're when you're in the process and working right. on a character, you're just so much in that world. Right. But, you know, I must say it was a good experience. <laughs> Remember, send us an email, contest at outthertv.net for your chance to win from a Lisa Ray prize pool that includes autographed books, posters, as well as tickets to her two latest movies. Break a leg, everyone. Well, no, I'm trying to say like, good luck. Win tickets, good luck. Don't really break a leg. Can we cut that out? Because I really don't think we should tell people to break legs.